Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm very excited to share with you my favorite affordable and accessible makeup products that I've been loving and reaching for. And for someone who loves makeup, I know how frustrating it can be to find a product that works well, however, it's also affordable. And that's why in today's video, I wanted to share with you my favorite affordable and accessible makeup products that have become my go-tos for everyday looks. In this video, I will be doing full face of makeup using only these makeup products products so you can see how they perform in my combination oily skin. I also will be sharing my thoughts and tips on all these products as we go along so make sure to stick around till the end. But before we get started I would like to welcome new visitors and viewers to my channel. Hi my name is Eve and I love all things beauty and if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful give this video a big thumb up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and without further ado let's dive in. really try to pick one item in each category to do the full face of makeup. However, there are going to be a few categories of makeup that I had to pick a few items because they were truly my favorite. If I have multiples in that specific category, I'm most probably going to be applying one, maybe two products of those. The other ones are going to be just honorable mentions that I wanted to also let you know just in case. So you would have some options. Let's get started. And I would like to start with a primer. As a combination oily skin person, I rarely use a one primer. The first primer that I want to start with is this mattifying primer from Ulta Beauty. I use this primer in a lot of my testing complexion product videos. Very nice primer that I've been using for some time now that helps me to fill my pores without clogging them. I never had an issue with this product breaking me out. It also helps to control my oils throughout the day. In this category, I also had two honorable mentions for you. One of them is a poreless body primer from e.l.f. Wonderful pore filling and smoothing primer that works very great for more visible pores on your T-zone. And another and absolute favorite primer that I've been loving for the past a year is this one from Catrice. It's called Tensational Face Primer. 10 in one primer that pretty much does everything. Priming, hydrating, anti-wrinkle, natural glow, anti-pollution, antioxidant, pore minimizing, even skin tone, blurs imperfection, and has an SPF 15. This is definitely too much product that I squeeze. It does add a little bit of glow to your skin. However, this is a type of primer that I can apply everywhere all over my face, even though it is a glowing product, but it works really well with my combo oily skin. Love this one so much. I really wanted to use this product in today's video. However, I'm going to be using a little bit more hydrating and glowing foundation today and I opted out for a more mattifying option of a primer. However, I used this primer in one of my previous videos so you can see it in action. In the past year and overall in 2022, I tried a lot of different foundation and complexion products. This next tube is pretty much empty. So if that doesn't tell you that I love that so much, I don't know what does. The foundation product that I used the most in the past year out of all my affordable products is this Complexion Crush Medium Coverage Foundation from Ulta Beauty and I have mine in the shade Light Neutral. This is a beautiful formula that Ulta Beauty decided to surprise us with. It does perform like a high-end product for a fraction of the price. It goes on skin very hydrating and it gives you a really nice coverage and it also does build up if you like to build up your coverage. This shade definitely is a little bit deeper than my palest self. This foundation is also not fragrance, which I absolutely love. Look at this beautiful glow and coverage that this product gave me. My most used affordable concealer is Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid creamy concealer from ColourPop. This concealer feels hydrating upon application, does give you a really nice coverage. This specific shade, Fair 20N, is brightening a shade for me. However, it works very well with my undertone. It wears really well throughout the day. To my opinion, it is quite long wearing. Even though it does have that hydrating property, it does not settle into my fine lines. The powder that I like to set my eye area and also has been my go-to for brightening brightening reasons and also is wonderful powder for retouching. This is a banana powder from Essence and I will pop the picture here on the screen for you so you would see. I would usually use this with my triangular puff and I would just go like this under my eye, press it into my skin. And do you see the difference between this side and this side, how much brighter and smoother this is? And I would set my entire T-zone with this product most use overall setting powder for my entire face is this poreless perfection powder in a universal shade from catrice cosmetics you've seen this powder so many times on my channel mine was repressed that's why it's not looking very pretty but this is a powder that is very thin 
It does give you the beautiful glow. This powder very much reminds me of Dior Powder No Powder that I heard has been discontinued or something like that. So you might try this one out because this is a fabulous, fabulous formula. Do you guys see this beautiful glow that's happening on my face right now? And I have no highlighter. This is the powder. While we're on the powder category, I did wanna do an honorable mention to the powder that's basically lived in my work bag this entire time and it's still there. And if I have to take a retouching powder with me, this is one that I usually use on the go. This is a clean, fresh cover girl powder in the shade Translucent 100. It looks beautiful on skin and mattifies your skin. It retouches your complexion beautifully. Also does not have a flashback. Okay, now let's warm up my complexion and apply some bronzer. The one that I've been really loving and I continue loving on is this Fall Glow Matte Bronzer from Ulta Beauty and in the shade Light to Medium. You may have seen this product in so many of my videos. This bronzer made it in a lot of my favorites videos, like my Ulta favorites, my monthly favorites, my yearly favorites. It is thin, it's non-powdery. I really like this for my pale complexion, even though I self-tanned a few days ago. However, my self-tan is really not that deep. This bronzer still works with my complexion, blends really easily, and it also is a full glow matte formula, which means that it is still a matte bronzer. However, it does give you a little bit of glow we effect to your skin. I will do an honorable mention to this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Mine is in the shade Bronzer. This would probably speak for itself because I have a huge pan here. Excellent OG formula that just does all the things that you want a bronzer to I do. I have two different blushes to show you and they are slightly bit different formulations and you have seen both of them on my channel so many times. The first one is the Blush Blush from The Essence and in the shade 10 Befitting. This is a beautiful silky smooth blush that just goes on skin wonderfully. To my opinion, this is such a beautiful shade and it is quite universal. And my second very much favorite blush is this by Ulta a beauty flushed blush in the shade flamingo i cleaned off my brush a little bit this is a beautiful rosy tone blush a little bit of a cool tone but it does have a little bit of glow to it and i really liked it as a topper or on its own it is a very firmly pressed blush that really gives you an opportunity to build up the color to the intensity that you like. These two go so well together or they work beautifully separately as well. Even though I feel like I'm glowy enough, just for the sake of the video, I do wanna add a little bit of a highlighter on my face and this has been definitely one of my most used products in the past year. This is More Than Glow Highlighter from Catrice in the shade Supreme Rose Beam. The packaging could definitely be a little bit better, but look at this beautiful highlight. It is definitely a highlight that is a little bit more intense. However, it's very smooth. It does not have any glitter in it. Well, it just gives you the most beautiful glow. Before we get into the eyeshadow application, uh, let's frame my eyebrows. My most used eyebrow products and definitely the one that has been already repurchased, Volume and Lift Brow Mascara from Catrice in the shade Medium Brown. I've spoken about this product so many times on my channel. The one that I just continue you speaking so highly about and it's definitely a product that I will continue to purchase. This specific shade is a little bit more on a cooler side however it still works very well as like as a universal shade for my complexion. It does have a high pigment and a very nice strong hold just like I like it. The brush is very nice and stiff. It really gives you a control of the pigment application. I love this so much. The brow pencil that I really have been loving is this one from Ulta Beauty. Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I have mine in this shade Ash Taupe. And I like to just go ahead and outline my eyebrow here. After applying Tinted Brow Mascara from Catrice, I really don't have a lot to do to my eyebrows because that brow mascara already has so much tint, gets applied to my eyebrow body, that all I need to do with a pencil 
is just outline the bottom of my eyebrow, draw the tail just to extend it a little bit, and then the eyebrow is done. Look, now let's get into the fun part and do some eye makeup. I have a few eyeshadow palettes to show you. First, I wanna show you these two eyeshadow palettes are from Catrice. I have two different color options here, golden nude look and then a warm spice look. Both of these are so well loved and traveled with me so many times. I would wanna say I probably lean towards this one to use the most but both of these have been loved and used so much in the past year and then the one that i would love to use today is this one from perfusion makeup the harvest palette this eyeshadow palette made it in my top 10 eyeshadow palettes of 2022 this was my first time trying perfusion makeup in 2022 and i was not disappointed in a formulation this palette also is only 10 dollars i have already worn a lot of different green looks and orangey looks today i really want to play around with these like warmer burgundy tones off of my look with a telescopic lift mascara from L'Oreal. This is a mascara that I've been using since December. This is a formula of mascara that initially was a little bit more wet and now it thickened up with time and no longer smudges. For my most loved lip pencil, I'm reaching for my favorite of all of them is a ColourPop lippy pencil in the shade BFF. It's beautiful, soft, yet pigmented formula, just glides on your lips. And for my lipstick, of course, I'm using my Milani matte lipsticks in the shade Peony. The formula of this matte lipstick is so comfortable. It is non-drying on your lips and wears so well throughout the day. And to finish off on this makeup look, I'm gonna use this setting spray from LA Girl. I hope you enjoyed watching me applying all my favorite affordable products. I would like to know what your favorite go-to affordable product is. Share your favorites with me in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, give this a big thumb up and I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you can see more tutorials and reviews in your timeline for me. And thanks so much for watching, hanging out with me today. And I will see you in my next videos. Bye.